Hi, this is Leah Mangum. This is our second episode of Cast Chat for Take It From The Top, episode two. We have amazing guests today. We have Joe Whelan. Yay! Hi, <laughs> Mage. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we have Anne Hampton Hall Calloway. Woo! Yay! It's Ted Lange. Yes, and Yay. Carolyn Hennessy. And Carolyn Hennessy. Yay! Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing? So thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to talk to you guys. So oh. how are you guys keeping busy right now during this crazy time? Oh, uh, uh, I, I've written a new play uh, because I'm waiting for our episodes to come forth. And until our episodes come forth, I keep myself busy. But I wrote a new play. It takes place during a pandemic. <laughs> in 1592 with Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, Edward de Vere, and Francis Bacon. And <laughs> uh, the three people, Chris, Edward de Vere, and Francis Bacon, have all been cited as being the authors of Shakespeare's play. And what my play does is it entertains this idea and it's i have a lot of books on all those guys and what they did so right. i'm having a reading also uh, a zoom reading just like oh, this good. That's uh great. saturday at noon so if you want to join in and listen to it let me know and i will invite yes. you to the reading yes absolutely. yes please Hey, oh, Ted, awesome. can i say ted uh, it's kind of hard to believe that you're writing a play during this time I mean, they said that Shakespeare wrote King Lear when he was dealing with his plague, but that's, yeah, that's and very that's ambitious not true. to do. I, I oh, really? saw that. That's not true. He wrote Comedy of Errors and he wrote Love's Labor's Lost. And someone well, he wrote put two that, plays. Yes. Two well, plays he wrote uh, uh, about a year <laughs> later. He wrote, uh, yeah. Those sort of the two plays in sequence is Comedy of Errors during the uh, pandemic, and then he wrote after that, uh, he wrote Love's Labor's Lost, and all of that's in my play. I don't know why they put that on the net. He didn't write uh, Lear until 1606, so that was years later. But someone put that on uh, the internet that Shakespeare wrote King Lear during the pandemic. It's not true at all. Wow. But he still wrote two plays, and it was his own core renaissance. <laughs> yes. 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 I love it. Renaissance. So it, it's fun. Listen, I'll just sit here I, by I'm my just, toilet paper. I'm just happy when I get my floors clean. I mean, you know, <laughs> there's no writing of plays for me. Yeah. Are you cleaning well, your own knows, floors? I, I don't want to be bored. Jill knows how I feel about when I know. people say, oh, I'm bored and I don't know what the dumb is. Dumb, dumb. There's, there's something you can do. Oh, I've always, yes. I mean, there's a way to write a play. I'm actually, you know what I'm doing? I'm doing later on today. I'm actually starting War and Peace. Are you really? <laughs> Are you really? Oh, I, I am. Would love that. I Why am. don't you just skip the war and go to the peace? And go right to the peace. Yes. I know. Listen. Hey, that's a straight line, but I'm leaving it alone. <laughs> Are you writing right now? Huh? Uh, Anne, are you doing any writing right now? Uh, I've actually been doing a lot of songwriting, and I have been doing this thing this year, uh, a poem a day. Mm -hmm. And so writing gorgeous, poems during, the during this time, thank you. Uh, I don't know what prompted me to start sharing them on social media, but it's been really a very powerful time to try to you know, stay in focus on what is really how I feel and how I see things. And as we learn new experiences and new challenges, and, and we feel all these different emotions every single day it's been a great outlet to be singing and writing and i just started doing zoom concerts and when i get done with our zoom i'm going to be singing a song uh, for a, a buenos aires couple this man wants me to sing a song uh to his wife who he's been married to for 51 years and wow. um you know it's amazing how the arts just keeps us together and keeps us sane and i think that's been, been a big part of my sanity during this and now, so, do you put for, your songs on Facebook so or what? What do you do? Where do you? I put my poems on Facebook, and um, I'm going to be doing a record of original songs sometime this year. So some of the new ones will probably make it. I'm, I'm guessing because they're fresh. They're so fresh and in touch with what we're going through right now. Oh, oh great! I, I said a quick story. Jill and I had a friend of ours that was sick, 
and Jill just gave Anne a few words about our friend. And I'm sitting on the porch with Jill and 10 minutes later, she recorded a song that was so beautiful and captured our friend so well. And we were both just bawling on the, on the sitting there listening to your song. It was so amazing, not, it was incredible. And the vocals were just ridiculous with key changes. And it was like 10 minutes. <laughs> we were just a mess, impressed That's and a, a mess at the same time. It That's was a gift. Not everybody such a gift. Can do that. Oh my gosh. I'll never yeah. forget You should that. see Anne in concert. Um, and I know that Leah knows this, yeah, but yeah, in concert, sense. Anne does these things where she does improv songs that are. I've seen her do it in concert, and I'm talking about you like you're not here any, but um, I've seen her do it in concert, and I've seen her do it in my living room with my son, Grant, who gives her words like fart, salt, <laughs> I can't remember, and she writes these incredible songs just from the air. It's, it's amazing. It's really it is cool. amazing. It's nuts. So we're so lucky that you did our song. Yes. Thank well, you. I, I'm so happy to get to write a theme song. You know, when I wrote this, this theme to the TV series, The Nanny, I thought, oh, this is so much fun. I love doing this. I hope I get to do a lot more. I didn't realize I would be one of the last theme song writers. They didn't stop doing theme songs. So when, when you said, hey, would you do a theme song for me? I, I was just so thrilled to, to get to do the work again. And uh, I just love your show. And it's, it's, it's so sort of it really it describes time. what, just like what Fran Drescher, she said, honey, I want you to tell the story in 46 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> um, and you're redoing, you're rebooting the nanny. Yes. Well, I don't know if we're rebooting it, but we just did a big nanny read and about a million people saw it in the last few days. And if that's the response, then I hope Netflix or somebody's going to pick it up because it, yeah. it's just such a beloved show. Oh, it's wonderful. John, oh, God, what are you doing? I've uh, just chance. been, you know, writing, working on a comedy show called uh, You Jokes. It's an improv show. So I do that every time. Oh, wow. just hilarious. Thanks. Yeah. And we do it like this, right? Yeah, with Zoom. With and Zoom and Facebook Live. Yeah. So Every wow. Friday, right? Tuesday At and Friday. Five? At 6 p.m. Yeah, Tuesday and Friday. Yeah. We need some awesome. awesome guests. All the Who's Line guys that he works with are on and Wayne Brady and just a lot of great oh, guys. Oh, wow. How fun. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's a good show. Sarah, See, what we artists will figure out how to make things work, even in a pandemic. We yeah. uh, humans will always find a way. Absolutely, you know, yeah. some things are going to fall by the wayside, but uh, you know, right? But we'll new things are going to come around. Yes. Yeah, and they're clever <laughs> things that people are doing. That's what I love about them. Some of them are so clever. You yeah. know how yeah. they turn this around to something uh, not so negative. Yeah, I have to ask. Anne wrote the best song called the Wash Your Hands song. Oh, yeah? Oh, I've yeah. seen that song, yes. Oh, I have to. Oh, thank I you. I have not seen this song. No, I Can you do a little, Anne? Please. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if, I mean, if you can't, that's okay, but I happen to know Wanna you're sitting there. healthy, be virus-free. There's a great thing to do. Enthusiastically, wash, wash your hands. So you and yours can be germ free. Sing this song while you wash and clean. Stay healthy and strong with this great hygiene. <laughs> That's why I actually I wrote that song. Uh, I was having my hair done uh, here in Tucson, and I was in. I had just read that washing your hands is the most important protection we can have during this. This is February 29th. And I just thought I have to write a song, so I wrote the song. And then yesterday, I released the, uh, the the little music video, and I hope that kids will sort of feel a little fun out of it because you know it's it's a scary time for kids to try to deal with a pandemic. So I thought something kind of zippy like the nanny theme, and 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 your theme uh, might might bring a little cheer to everybody. And so I hope so. That's it's wonderful. great and it's on Facebook, so everybody should go find it. Adorable. Well, I you. have to ask Ted and Jill, because people are going to want to know. Love Boat was one of my favorite shows, along with everyone else, and the two of you are two of my favorite characters. Can you guys share a story from Love Boat? Something well, I want to tell Annie that uh, Paul Williams wrote our theme song. Mm. Oh, yes. What a great, what a great wonderful. writer that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he said... Song, yeah. He had written theme songs to other television shows and none of them ever went. And he was very grateful to our show because that was the first theme song that he wrote that took off. And then he did a couple of other shows after that, which were much more successful. 
<laughs> so we kind of, he said we broke his bad luck streak. Well, that's good. Um, well, that's yeah. Good. You did okay, a lot. What a great show. You didn't you didn't tell a story uh, that, about Love Boat because Leah asked you that question. Oh, we're I'm Bill and Ted story. Ah, huh? damn it! I thought I'd get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no like, Love Boat story. Is, having lunch with the two of them and just sharing all these lovely stories because you guys are wonderful friends and have known each other forever and it's just a delight. So. Do anything you oh, want? Oh gosh, to Ted, what's your favorite story? Do you have a fave? Today. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's an in joke. Uh, actually, we um, no, we did it on a game show. There was a game show that we did together. Where were we in Canada? Yeah, but I'm going to tell you, it's not going to translate. But go ahead. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> we were in Canada. Jill and I we were doing a game show, and Jill got really excited. And it was like uh, uh, you, you had to blurt out what the answer was. And the answer uh, was, was Kim huh? Field. The answer was Kim Field, and I had to give you a clue to get her name. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that what? See, you remember it better than I. And her do. character in the show she did was, was her character was. <laughs> Tootie. 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 <laughs> and I don't know why I decided to go Oakland on you, but yes. I went, Tootie. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that, that's right? been our kind of calling card. Whenever we get bored or, you know, we, we want to have a good laugh, we'll go to Tootie. Because we were, <laughs> we were in hysterics after that. Yeah. Yeah, See, the problem is when, I'll tell you, Ted, when he gets the giggles, you there's no there's no stopping him it doesn't yeah, i don't back. care if jesus yeah. christ walks into the room yeah, you, it will not make a difference yeah you can't bring me <laughs> back one, and that was one of the things the love boat directors know said don't let this guy laugh and and laughing time, it's over. He's, he started laughing um this is before i joined the show but you tell you could tell the story ted but what my favorite part about it is the background as to why he started laughing is because he just finally realized that the, sh the show was successful and that he was famous. <laughs> and so he started to laugh. Why was that all that it was that made you start laughing? No, or? no, here's, here's the deal. We were doing a scene in, in Love Boat in uh, Julie's cabin. It was a scene in which uh, they gave, there were five people in the scene and it was really a two character scene. So they gave, because there's five people and there's you, you, you don't have a lot of dialogue, you gave every person one line. So Bernie had a line, Fred had a line, and I had a line. And you only needed the captain and Julie to have a line. I mean, to have the scene. So they gave every, each one of us a line. And it was ridiculous. I mean, you see the, the absurdity of everyone having one line that really doesn't relate to anything, but you get to say something because you're on screen and you're one of the celebrities in the show. And then at that moment, I realized that I'm a celebrity. I, I, I'm in the opening credits. I'm, I'm part of the show. And so I started laughing because I, I looked at how ridiculous we all were because we all had just one line and Bernie's line made the least sense of all. And Bernie was overacting on a very simple line. Bernie that played got the me doctor. Gone. So doctor. Bernie said the line like, we've got to go to the store. <laughs> and you go, no, you can't. No, you're not going to do it like that. It's just, <laughs> we got to go to the store. But Bernie would say, we've got, because he only had one line. <laughs> no, that's something over the edge. And then I realized, that they couldn't fire me for laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and this is back in the 70s. I was the only black guy on a white show and I realized they couldn't fire me. <laughs> and, uh, that was even funnier. So they gave me all kinds of things to stop me laughing. They said, put a nail in your hand and squeeze on the nail. And you know, and then um, the guy said, you're, you're representing all black people. And it just, you know. That made him laugh even more. <laughs> yeah, it made me laugh even more. So yeah, that was uh, that was the start of it. So after that, he said, "Don't," because we broke Wait. for lunch. 
went and had lunch, came back, and then we started to do the scene again. And I started looking at the situation the same way. And so they said, what's making you laugh? And I pointed to Bernie laughing. So they said, cut the line. Because <laughs> <laughs> now Bernie's mad at me. Because he's got one line and it's gone. Anyway, it, that was. And uh, then, wait, but then they brought the grown ups down. They got yes, the, they, the, yeah. the producers, and the producers came down and said, "You better, you better straighten up, or we're gonna call, we're gonna call Aaron Spelling and have him come down." And you just started laughing, going, yeah, <laughs> "Go ahead, yeah, yeah." You know, and oh, the, my, I had a black stand-in and my black stand-in took me aside and told me I, I represent all black people in Hollywood and how could I do this? You know, you've got to be serious. And I said, it's a comedy. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, and there is no, when you, when you get the giggles, there's no coming back. No, church yeah. giggles. Yeah. It's yeah. like yeah. laughing in church. No you can't. Carolyn, I know we're going to have a lot of General Hospital fans. Do you have any great stories to tell us about General Hospital? Oh, gosh. Well, I will say this, that, that there was a time uh, a few years ago when we were doing a lot of product placement. And Nancy Legron, you know, Alexis and Diane would have, you know, we'd be talking about Prego Heart Smart. Uh -huh. <laughs> or, or, you know, it's like, well, like, Alexis, I know something, you know, I want to keep your heart healthy. Here's a jar of Prego Heart Smart. And, went, and, and one of the other sponsors was Hershey's. So we got a huge thing of... of truckload of Hershey's Kisses and you know needless to say I'm like on the set like this <laughs> <laughs> and so for a couple of well until they ran out of that truckload and then they started getting more in for me every uh -huh. time there was a court scene the dr where I'm sitting the desk that I'm sitting in I, I'll, I'll walk onto the court scene like the first day I'll open it up and it's full of Hershey's Kisses <laughs> <laughs> thanks Rob. thanks Oh, that's wonderful. And people and if the other actors are saying, "Are you going to share?" It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's your own. Make friends. I I I I work for this. I work for these. That's great. That's John, right. Funny stories about let's make a deal or or uh, whose line is whose it? Line line? Well, on let's make a deal. One time we had to. This happened more than once. Actually, we have to uh, reshoot um, reshoot an audience member winning something because this one time this one lady she was so concerned about taking the curtain to the box she just <laughs> this isn't is this a can i say it, i guess you can I'm, you I'm can say whatever you want. He said go ahead she was like ah, give me the fucking curtain <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, everyone stop okay we're gonna try that again we want you to not say the f word <laughs> let's have it two or three times where people just curse ah give me the nothing whatever and then uh they have, we have to reshoot them because that wow. won't work. Yeah, yeah. It was a clean show until I put my husband on. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ted. And, Ted, I, have, I, wanted to, I want to show you something because do you remember, and I, I said this last week on Cast Chat, um, yeah. that you, when we were filming, um, uh, take, it, take it from the top, that you, in between takes, you were coloring. Yes, my well, coloring, coloring books. Book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have I have many coloring books that I have because I, I hey, stole. Are they in books. reach? Can I see what you have? Well, because I just wanted to show you my. Pencil. Whoa! Oh, wow! Look at those colors. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I'm I not fucking around. <laughs> well, listen, can we, can we it's time that? we work it's together. Open. I want you to bring that. I want you to bring those, and I'm gonna bring my coloring books. Oh, now. of course. Let's see. What have I got? Oh, my God. I've got national parks. Uh huh. And we need my coloring book, the Barbra Streisand song, is this afternoon. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I, know I like that. <laughs> you didn't say it, but I like it. And yes, and. <laughs> okay, and this one is almost all done. Oh, right. Yeah. So my first first song song coming on command. Command. Yes. I did. Oh. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I wow. love that. I went all over Atlanta. Looking for looking for colored uh, colored pencils. Yes, yes, yes. impressive. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody. So, so there's toilet paper hoarding and color pencil hoarding now. That's a new yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for doing this. And I hate to ask you, would you mind playing us out? <gasps> oh my God. Well, uh, I don't. I don't really know how to play this song that well. So. All right. Okay.
She was a child star. I went the world on a string. Then Jill grew up, got a guy. I got the diamond ring thing to make that two, two guys, two rings, and two sons from every one. Those boys are smart and fun. Barbie, two made some dough and some girls on the side. And after losing it all, he had, I'm sorry, I can't really read all this. But that was wonderful. Thank you very much. You didn't have to play out of it. You didn't have to choose that. You've got so many wonderful songs. All I right, just want to say that what fun it's been, and let's have a hit show, people. Woo Bye, buddy. Thank you so Love much. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. Bye. 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 Bye.